Well, that's some ledge. Come, Brad. Come over here. Whoa. Maybe up here. I don't think we can go any lower. I'd say that's the main drive shaft. You ready? Yeah. That looks like the way out. I wish I could say this was going to help, but it's kind of lame in every way. Oh boy, that's high. There's gotta be a way up on deck. No shit, Sherlock. You're catching on. No, there's no way down this grate. Yo, Brad, check it. That ladder. That could be our ticket out of here. <sighs> Wanna draw straws? I'll go. Okay, <laughs> be my guest. <sighs> Yo, Blitz, you okay? Yes. Sure. How about you? Oh, great. That's gonna be a big help. Damn it! It's okay. Uh, maybe there's another way. Uh, I'm looking up here. There's gotta be something. is for shit. Thank <laughs> you. 
could have drowned. We gotta get away. He's still around. Th that guy. Fuck! I think we'll be all right here.
Oh, hello. Things appear to have taken a turn towards the spiritual, wouldn't you say? Have you figured out what's going on? How to stop it? How to save the lives of your poor, unfortunate stowaways? You will, I hope. Although it seems the ship's previous occupants never managed to. Quite a lot of deaths that night. Let me help you out, give you a little hint. Well then, how can I put this? There may be forces at play here that are more scientific and even some that are more political, you know? Less supernatural. Perhaps you've started to realize something. That everything and everyone may not be quite what they appear to be. I hope that helps. Well, aren't you excited to find out what your poor unfortunates are making of all this and how you might avoid any more unnecessary tragedy? Go on, back to it. Speak soon. What the fuck is going on with this ship? Because, I gotta be honest, it feels like there's some, like, like, evil, like, literal evil going on down there. Let's just stay calm and relatively sane about this, okay? The stuff I saw, it's like there were these old soldiers, they were bodies, they were dead, but then they came alive and- That doesn't sound that crazy right about now. Alex wasn't the only Alex. What are you talking about? There were things walking around with his face on them. Alex's face, it, it was horrifying. Julia, I'd never hurt you. You know that, right? No, I know, it's just... This can't all be happening. Maybe, like, one thing could, but not all of these crazy things. It's too much of a coincidence. There's gotta be something going on here. What can we absolutely be sure about? What do we know that's real? Am I crazy, or are we on a ghost ship? I was gonna say the same thing. Well, I know we're not the first people to see weird shit here. Apparently the guards were super freaked out by something they saw in the cargo holds. Actually, we found something that mentioned that. I guess it got so bad that they set up a watch to see if they could verify any of the supernatural claims, you know, but nothing turned up. What do you think actually happened to this place? Beats me, man. I saw 1947 on the newspaper. This whole place reeks of weird. Dirty, stinky, weird. And I don't like it. It's getting hard to tell what's real around here. Did you see the gold? Anything? Manchurian gold isn't actually gold. It's a fucking chemical and it's leaking all over cargo hold too. Yeah. I'm pretty sure this isn't exactly what our friendly fishermen are expecting, either. <sighs> this should go over well. We know more than we did before. That's something, at least. We're wasting time. Whatever we do, we have to do it now. Time to get off this ship. We're not going anywhere without the distributor cap. The Duke needs it to run. Hold on. This ship's gotta have a radio. If we can find it and use it... That's great, but do you think it still works? Just need to find a way up there. We gotta get off this damn ship. <laughs> no shit. I think we're, uh, speaking clinically, totally effed. I know 
it sounds crazy, but maybe it was these guns that took down the plane from our dive. Great. Could use these if they weren't Swiss cheesed. Find a way up? Sadly, no, but I'll keep my eyes open. Must have been moving some pretty dangerous cargo. Hey, a little help over here. I think this is our way up. Give me a lift. I'll pull you up. Over here! Gotta wait through here.
Huh. Last log shows him caught in a storm. Find the radio yet? No, but there's gotta be a radio on this ship. There, there has to be. I'm not exactly confident about our chances of survival. Something's wrong here. If you were headed to San Francisco, you'd be crazy to take this route. It's almost like they didn't want anyone to know they were coming. Like hide and seek out in the ocean? was blown off course, cloud cover was bad. They couldn't establish a position. Yeah, that's gross. Looks like this poor sucker bit it right in the middle of his message. Hmm, sounds pretty desperate. Take a look. No freaking way. This thing actually still works? Well, radio science hasn't changed much in 70 years, as long as there's power. I'll give it a whirl. Ah, it's working! It's a number station. Military bandit. Let's have some for help. Is anyone out there hearing this? Hello? Over. Holy shit! We got him! Uh... If you can hear us, we're on a ship, an old freighter. Our coordinates are approximately uh, 12 degrees 30 minutes south, 151 degrees 20 minutes west. Please, get here now! We need help! We're on this, like, old freighter. We think the name of it is the Iran Medan. Hello? Hello? Is anyone out there? Please, come in! Hey! Come here, look! This has got to lead somewhere. Maybe we can find a way to get the power back. We need to get that radio working. I think someone should wait here in case a message comes through. I'll go. 
Obviously. I can do this. I should be the one to go. Hey, little bro. What's up? I'm thinking you might deserve a promotion. How's medium bro sound? <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? You stepped up to the plate. Put yourself right in the line of fire. You're kind of mixing metaphors there. Not if the pitcher's a machine gun. <laughs> I'm impressed. Seriously. So what do you think? Hey, if you're sure you're up for it, I believe you got it, bro. I'm coming too. Hey, what? Julia, no. Uh, you're not always gonna be there to protect big guy. I can handle this, trust me. Whoa, whoa. If Julia says she can handle it, she can handle it. Case closed. Okay, Julia, it's you and I. Everything still work? Everyone okay? We're okay. What are we gonna do? We're gonna have to find the generator. If we can get it started, we can power up the radio. Okay, we'll wait here by the radio. Here. Hey. After you. Guessing these are the lower levels of the ship. sort of altercation. Ten days in the brig. Wow. Must have really blown his lid to get that kind of time. Joe in sick bay. I wish I could actually, you know, enjoy this. What the hell are you talking about? Well, in any other circumstance, you know, this place would be the coolest place to explore, like, like ever. Yeah, I'm gonna say no, not at all. Says the girl who couldn't wait to dive a wreck. Shut up. Hmm. 
been the son of somebody on board. Jesus. Here, come check this out. Look, down there. Looks like the engine room. Good place to find a generator, right? The ladder's broken off here. I think I can just... Wait! <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, uh, all good. Just come down. What's up? That, it, 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 it was... Wait, wait, did you see it? Um, hello? Okay, so, I, so I'm seeing things, but you're not. Okay, so follow my thinking here. We know this ship was carrying the Manchurian gold, but that was really some sort of hallucinogenic bioweapon developed in China during World War II. And we know that it was super unstable and leaked all over the ship. So maybe it's still here? Maybe it hasn't dispersed after 70 years, and it's having the same effect on us, you know? Paranoid hallucinations. All this crazy shit we're seeing, none of it's real. The crew was hallucinating. We know they were scared of something, and the officers thought it was just a bunch of jumpy GIs trying to get out of guard duty. This isn't a ghost ship, it's a floating bioweapon. This couldn't have anything to do with the plane wreck we dived. Okay, so the plane was a search and rescue. It came out here because the people on this ship sent a distress signal, we know that. But I guess at that point, the fog had done its damage, and for whatever reason, they shot the plane down. I mean, who knows what the hell they were thinking, or thought they saw? Oh, God. All right, let's get going. You know what I miss right now? Dry clothes? Yeah. Hey, hey! I found it! Oh, thank God! And it's working! Yep, this is it, all right. Just throw the switch and let's get back upstairs. Okay, let's get back upstairs. There's gotta be another way up. <laughs> we lost power, but we have it back. Can you hear me? Over! We need help, now! There are things on the ship that are trying to hurt us. Over! Recovery mission is on route to your location. Over. Location is confirmed. Oh, come on, work them in.
was actually anchored. I wonder why. Look at this! The rebreather! The fisherman must have brought it over from the Duke of Milan. You think it still works? Looks like it's got a little juice left. Maybe a couple of minutes? Should we bring it with us? I mean, it's heavy. It's just gonna slow us down. Are you crazy? Half the ship is submerged. It could be a lifesaver. Try to avoid that. Yeah. Hiding, you little foot. What's the problem with sharing all that gold, eh? There must be plenty of that to go around, more than enough. And we're all in this together, right? Trying to cut me out of the deal? 
Withstand all sorts of stuff. Okay. Okay. None of you move. None of you go all changing on me now. Turn around. Slow. Real slow. Something back there, uh, maybe a mist or a fog, maybe. I knew it. I told you. Did you breathe it in? No. Look, we held our breath. We did not breathe any of that stuff. <laughs> oh really? I know you're all fancy divers, but you expect me to buy that? We've been down here for hours. You've been holding your breath this whole time. You're holding your breath right now. Oh, good. It's in me. I got the mist in me, don't I? It's in me, isn't it? Uh, uh, I can feel it swirling around in there. It's changing me. On the inside. No, no! I, 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 I can't see it! You're all right, man. There's no mist! Stop! Stop lying! You cannot see it in me, can't you? You're all just lying! The mist is inside!
Wait by the radio. Why? I'm gonna check the next level. There might be some more gear down there we can use. Uh... I'm not going far. Just wait by the radio. I saw the, the, the big guy. He had the distributor cap. I can't go after him. This must have been what we just heard. Oh no, what's that? Doesn't matter. We need that distributor cap. Here! He had to have come this way. Look at that shit. I'm gonna make this jump, Alex. I'll have to find another way around.
Fuck! Ugh. Look at that. Sometimes you just get lucky. It's okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fliss. Gotcha. All right, let's try it. I just want to know what happened to my brother. He was trying to help us to, to get help, but he doesn't know anything about boats or sailing. I just hope he's alive, that he's okay. God, we should have never split up. So, um, found this.
That's it. Game over. You're done. For now, at least. You could always try again, see if you can't do better next time around. Impressive. Almost everyone survived. Almost. Things became a little intense, but Alex kept his nerve. Well done, Alex. Well done, you. It's all about decisions, isn't it? Decisions made in a hurry, in a panic, made with the heart instead of the head, or vice versa. Sometimes those decisions take a long time to have repercussions. But there are repercussions. There are always repercussions. <laughs> Till we meet again. Maybe in Little Hope, maybe somewhere else. But be certain, we will meet again. It's inevitable. Want to spare me over till another year? 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 Spare me over till another year. Well, what is this that I can't see with ice cold hands taking hold of me? Well, I am deaf, none can excel. I open the door to heaven or hell. Everybody's looking, trying to find a way out. See them seeing every day what this world's all about. You're realizing that it's hard. You're trying to pick the right path. There's poor people, poor streets inside the neighborhood mass. Bearing scars of the past, they keep trying to escape. Destiny within their eyes, these are the tears of our fate. All these numbers of our lives that we keep trying to equate. They got us living every day. We're in search of that gate. Pray. Oh, death. Oh, death. Won't you spare me over to the night? Someone would pray once you come and call me another day. The children prayed, the preacher preached. Time and mercy is out of your reach. Lo and behold, the pale horse and the rider who decides the fate of one who made a failed choice. Put a tail off behind it, the trails off in the fire that spark those who don't know they're stuck on a stale course. Yeah, we all face death when it comes to take your breath. Usually without knowing how many days are left Some raise their chest, others cower when it comes Whether you're living in the towers or down in the slums Oh, death, oh, oh, death Won't you spare me over till another year? Well, I'll fix your feet till you can't walk I'll lock your door till you can't talk I'll close your eyes till you can't see this very hour Come and go Heaven's coming, praying it doesn't come late. This is for real, man. It's how I push through my pain. When ass is always falling and death's rain. It's cold outside. Death look me in my eyes. Hold through these plans, man. We gotta be wise. Hold through together. It's then they will rise. I'm saying peace for all my people that can see through the lies. When can that la la Brisa running up her thighs while she's singing? Oh, oh, Take a moment to reflect on Think of all the things in your life that you slept on Or slip through your fingers like Teflon Cause you lost your focus steady Think about the next dawn Saying that the next dawn you'd make things better But you didn't get a chance to make your reparations Better make some preparations But if you're not ready yet Death comes for all of us my friends So you better get
out of nowhere, this thing just sent out an SOS. Guess we got a real life ghost ship here. <laughs> What the hell is this?